Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have my Bath and Body Works haul to share with you guys. Bath and Body Works once a year does a candle sale where they sell them for $8.95 and I'm always like, heck yeah, I want to be in that deal. So I did purchase all of my candles during that day, during that sale. I had a coupon as well, so I had actually two coupons. I split my order up. So if you split your order up and use coupons, you can save even more money, guys. So my candles, after everything was said and done, I think I paid like five or six dollars I don't remember I'll have to like double check my math but it was right around six dollars that I paid for each candle which is a spectacular deal so I was very very happy with what I got I did get 15 which that's what they say is the limit but I don't think that's a hard and steady rule I think you can get more than that because I saw some people posting saying that they had gotten 40 and I'm like what I could have gotten more oh be still my heart no so anyway next year I will know that though I know that you can probably get more than 15 so you didn't know that already I think you can get more I think it depends on the store too though so anyway let's get into the haul first I did pick up two little accessories so I picked up these little candle holders these are I don't think they have a name or anything on them they just look very snowy like I think they're very pretty these were actually free because I had a coupon where you get like a item for free as long as it was up to I think 12 or 13 dollars something like 1350 I think is what the value was so I got both of these for free and I'm like why not I can use those to put my candles in and if I don't use them for candles I can use them something for the beauty room because they're just really pretty so I'm happy to have those then I did get a hand cream freebie so this is the thousand wishes shea butter hand cream bath and body works of course this is a one ounce size this smells so good if you guys have never smelled the thousand wishes oh my gosh you have to smell it I think I watched young young wild and polished and I think she's the one who got me started on the thousand wishes and it does it smells very fruity very fresh it's a very fresh like I don't know just like a springtime scent to me I don't think it smells like a Christmas time scent that's for sure but it smells like spring so I love hand creams I'm constantly using hand cream so anytime I can get one especially for free count me in now we're moving on to the candles so the first one here is the cinnamon stick so this one here is the actual white barn style so they do have the notes on the bottom of these if you're curious what the notes are in these so this one is cinnamon orange essential oils with notes of nutmeg and clove bud Oh my gosh, it smells like a cinnamon stick. It smells basically like a big old cinnamon stick. It smells delicious. I love the canisters for the white barn ones. I like the short ones. These are going to be so pretty once I depot all of my candles. I still have to do that. I have a ton in our office freezer that I need to depot. I need to go over and do that one day with you guys because I think it's going to be fun to do, first of all. Second of all, I can't wait to see what I come up with to use the actual candle jars for. So that's always fun, kind of repurposing what you already have. The next thing is this one here, and this is a Campfire Donut. Oh my gosh, I know what this one smells like. This smells absolutely amazing. It smells mostly like sugar. <laughs> so if you like the scent of like sugar, like candy, like not really candy, like bakery, it smells so good. The notes are cedar wood essential oil, notes of powdered sugar, and glazed donut. So you can definitely smell the sweetness to this. It smells so, so good. I love anything that smells like you're baking something or it just smells like baked good is basically what I like. I like the baked good scents because they're my favorite. I think they, it just makes your kitchen feel nice and cozy. And it also just kind of makes it look like you were actually cooking. Even if you weren't, you're like calling order pizza, but I did burn a candle. So anyway. This is another one I got, so I'm excited about burning all these. Like I said, I can't wait to start burning them. The next one is Spiced Apple Toddy. Look at the jar to this one. This one is so pretty. I love the red container. And this one has the mountain scenery at the top here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got like a mountain scenery and it's the bronzed look. Oh, smells so good. Apple toddy or actually any kind of toddy reminds me of my husband's grandparents because they used to tell me when I would get sick to drink a hot toddy and I'm like what the heck is a hot toddy and they were like it's good for you well it's not really good for you but it'll help with a cold so this is made with the cinnamon clove essential oils and notes of apple brandy so I guess that's why I think of them because it smells like brandy and they're not drinkers by any means they just were suggesting that's what you take to help clear everything up so anyway I don't know how I got on that subject the next thing is oops I dropped it 
Oh, we have another spiced apple toddy. I did get duplicates of some of them because I knew that I liked the scents already. And not only that, sometimes I just perhaps like the jar itself. So if I really like the jar, then I would get a duplicate or if I knew I liked the scent. So again, smells so, so good. These have a great scent throw too. I noticed when I, when I use these, when I like these, the scent throw is a lot stronger and a lot longer lasting. So these are very, very nice. I have one burning in my kitchen right now, but I don't know what it is I'm burning. I know it's something to do with Christmas because I love all the fall, Christmassy, winter scents. They just smell absolutely amazing. The next one is, whoa, where are you going? Get back here, Susie. Oh my gosh, the bag's going to fall. Don't fall. Now we have cinnamon. You are falling. Hang on, guys. We're having a meltdown over here. We're having a temporary meltdown. Let me get this one out. These bags are so noisy. The next one is cinnamon caramel swirl. Basically, I got this. I know I like the scent notes too, but it has a little taxi on it. And I'm like, it reminds me of New York. So I think if I depot this one, I'm gonna keep the scenery on this. Usually I peel off the scenery and then take some alcohol and clean the outside. But I really like the scenery to this because it looks like New York and we were just in New York. So I like this. This one smells really, really good. It smells definitely like baked goods. It smells like caramel like cake or caramel pie. Oh my gosh, yum. This one is cinnamon, orange essential oils, caramel, vanilla, and maple sugar. The maple is what I'm smelling. It smells like pancakes. Mmm, pancakes. Okay, so that's awesome. Then we have this one here and it kind of reminds me of, for some reason it reminds me of the Griswold's Family Vacation. That's what the little station wagon reminds me of. Does that remind you guys of that too? It reminds me of the Griswold Family Vacation and it kind of reminds me of like the red truck theme that I have going on in my house. So I'm like, this one's going to be perfect. So this is evergreen. Smells like a Christmas tree. It smells just like a Christmas tree. So if you want your house to smell like you have a Christmas tree in your house, this one is going to be perfect for that. So especially for us, because we don't use a real tree, we use an artificial tree. So this will be perfect. This is cedarwood, cinnamon essential oils, notes of fir needle and pine. So it smells absolutely amazing. I love the green jar. So I think I'm not going to peel this label off either just because I like that label too. Some of the labels are very, very cute this year. Then we have pumpkin cupcake. This is a fall scent. This is not really a winter scent, but I love the pumpkin cupcake. My oldest son loves anything pumpkin. He is a pumpkin fan, so I think he's going to enjoy the scent. The top to it's really pretty. It's got these little pumpkins on top here, and oh, it smells good. It reminds me of like a almost like baby powder scented pumpkin. If that's weird, I don't know. It's just what it reminds me of. This was whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla pumpkin spice and freshly baked cupcake. I think that's why it reminds me of like baby powder because the cupcake and the vanilla just reminds me of a very sweet scent. It's very, very good though. The jar to this one's pretty, but it's not anything that I'll keep. I'll end up cleaning this one completely up. The next one is, oh, we have maple cinnamon pancakes. Mmm, another red jar. I love the red jar. Again, that's going to be perfect for my kitchen with the red truck theme. So, oh, this one smells really good. You can really smell the maple in this one. Smells like if you guys have ever been to like a maple harvest, except that's, that's what it smells like, like the maple donuts they make. Mmm, yummy. This is nutmeg essential oils, maple syrup, and fluffy buttermilk pancakes. Mmm, I'll take some pancakes with some maple syrup on them. I love pancakes. I used to hate pancakes, funny thing. I used to hate pancakes and waffles. Then we have the ever so popular flannel. So we have the flannel one. I like the design on this one as well. The design's really cute. This one's the green jar again. This one smells like mince cologne. I, everybody always talks about flannel and they're always like, yeah, flannel's like the best one for the fall and everything. But it reminds me of mince cologne. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like a store I've been to before. Maybe Hollister or Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know. It just reminds me of mince cologne. That's what it reminds me of. So this one is orange peel patchouli. That's what I'm smelling is the patchouli and soft musk. So it definitely smells more like a mince cologne in my opinion. It doesn't smell very fall-like, but it'll be great for just making my house smell nice and fresh and manly. Ugh. Okay, that was that part. Oops, I just threw it. Just like tossed it over there. The next one is this one here, and this is campsite coffee. Somebody had told me on Instagram or something that the campsite coffee smells like Starbucks, and I was like, count me in because I love me some Starbucks. So this one has a little deer in it with a little canoe. It's super cute. It's got the trees at the top here. And the notes to this one is 
cedarwood, orange essential oils, coffee, vanilla ice cream, and fresh baked donuts. Oh my gosh, like everything that you could possibly love. And it does. It smells like Starbucks. Oh my gosh, it smells just like walking into a Starbucks getting a fresh cup of coffee. Mmm, speaking of coffee, let's take a sip because that just made me very thirsty. So good. My uh, husband always thinks I'm very funny because I think skunk, when you, if you've ever smelled a skunk when it sprays, a skunk reminds me of coffee. I don't know why, but it just does. And I'm not the only person that thinks that way, but many people will look at me like I'm crazy when I say that. So if you think that way too, let me know because I sometimes I feel like I'm crazy when I say that around my family. They're like, skunk does not smell like coffee. I'm like, yes, it does. When coffee first brews, it smells very strong like skunk for some reason. I don't, is that a bad thing though? I don't know. Anyway. The next one is spiced gingerbread. Oh my gosh, I love me some gingerbread. I love gingerbread cookies. This one has a snowflake at the top, so it's got like the embossed snowflake. It smells just like gingerbread cookies. And this one is vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. And this one's got the little gingerbread man on here. He's so cute. I just basically didn't show you at all. I was showing you that side. Here it is. So I cannot wait to burn this one as well. That'll be for a day that I definitely feel like I should bake, but I'm not going to bake. The next one is just very pretty. Look how pretty this one is. This is Marshmallow Fireside, but look at the design on this. The design is gorgeous. It's got a giant snowflake at the top of it. The notes to this is cedarwood. Oh, oh man, that's the second time that's happened to me with candles from Bath and Body Works where the, can the whole candle pops out. That is weird. The other one worked fine, but it's just weird that they do that. Cedarwood, Palo Santo, essential oils, notes of toasted marshmallow, and vanilla. So, smells like delicious. If you've ever smelled campfire, <clears throat> marshmallow campfire, is that what it's called? Marshmallow fireside. If you've ever smelled that, then you know it's like one of those notes that somebody can be burning that candle and you automatically know what it is. It's a great scent, <clears throat> especially for the fall of the year. But I won't lie and say that I don't burn it during the summer because I do. I burn it during the summer because it reminds me of the campfire that we usually have outside. So I burn it all year. It's okay. The next one is, oof. This one is cinnamon clove buds. This one here was sold out online because I was looking at purchasing the items online and then I realized you can't combine coupons or anything like that with the deal that was going on. I was like, no, I'll go to the store better. But this one was sold out online and I'm smelling it and I'm wondering why was it sold out online because it smells very, very strong. It reminds me of the cinnamon hearts. If you guys ever tried those cinnamon hot hearts, whatever they're called, they're, they're hot candies. That's what it reminds me of. This is made with cinnamon leaf and clove essential oils. So it smells very, very, very cinnamony. So if you don't like cinnamon, this is not a recommendation for you because you're going to have to love cinnamon a lot to like that one. The next one is crushed candy cane. Look at the pink container. Oh my goodness. I love the pink container. I bought a lot of these for the container. But this smells really good too. It smells just like a candy cane. Mmm, yummy. And this one just has white burn at the top because this is a white burn candle. This one is crushed peppermint and white sugar crystals is the notes. Oh gosh, it smells like a candy cane. I love candy canes. It makes me want a candy cane now. Candy cane hot chocolate. That would be delicious. Oh, how many more do we got? I think we only have one left, guys. Oh no, we need to go buy some more. Okay, this bag is empty. So that makes all our bags are empty. This is the last one. We have another camp campsite coffee. So another Starbucks in a jar. So again, if you like the scent of Starbucks coffee, you're gonna love this. It smells just like Starbucks coffee. It smells like when you walk in there and they're freshly brewing coffee or they're making you a frappuccino. That's what it smells like. So, so good. So those are all the candles I picked up during the sale and the little containers to put them in. So these will work like this. You can put your candle down in here so it's super cute. I'm not sure if I'll use it for candles or if I'll put them in my beauty room. I'll probably end up, they'll probably end up being in my beauty room, honestly, because I just think they're very pretty. They look like a snowflake, a big old snowflake. Anyway, I'd love to know if you participated in the sale as well. What kind of goodies did you pick up? Did you get some great candles? What's your favorite scents? Do you like the more baked good type scents or do you like the more like flowery or more like perfumey or what is your notes? What notes do you like? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.